Hello, welcome to Lingua Latina Study Habits. This is Mr. K, and in this tutorial I'll explain uh, the habits of mind, your study, um, study skills you need to be successful with Lingua Latina. So the first thing you need, uh, you uh, please, I hope you've already watched the resources video and you know what resources you need. So in the Familia Romana text, that's where you want to start your week of study. So let's just, um, let's pretend that we're on a two-week schedule. And the very first day, Monday, uh, we have our Familia text and now we need to know what to do. So the first thing to do is to read through uh, the entire chapter. Look at the pictures, Insula Opidum Fluius. Uh, read through the text, practice your pronunciation, Roma, read it out loud. Roma in Italia est. Italia in Europa est. Trying to get an understanding of the Latin as Latin without translating. Uh, you also want to be looking at the margin notes and see what the new vocabulary is for that chapter and get a feel for the whole chapter and what you need to know. The next thing you want to do is focus on the lesson. There are three lessons usually for each chapter and they're marked with a Roman numeral. Notice here, I've highlighted the Roman numeral. And this is section one. This section goes from Roma in Italia Est all the way down uh, until you find a Roman numeral two, which is on the next page. And you'll see it right here on the right-hand side. There's the Roman numeral two. So this is chapter two. And um, you want to read through this section, this lesson, very, very carefully paying attention to every word. Um, you probably want to read it three times and make sure that you could translate everything in here from English to Latin if you needed to. Uh, you should understand it as Latin, but if you see Nilus et Reinus Flui Sunt, you should know that that means the Nile and the Rhone River are, the, and the Rhone are rivers. Okay, so after you've carefully studied one lesson, then what you want to do is go to the exercises for that lesson. So I'm going to click down here on exercises and you see Exercitium Primum Italia and Europa Est etc. Notice down here in the lower left we have uh, ex there are 11 exercises. If I click on two we see that now it is a vocab uh, entry, a vocab exercise. The first exercise is usually a grammar exercise, Estin Sunt. The second exercise for a lesson, vocabulary, and so you see the vocabulary over here that you're studying. And then uh, the third exercise is usually uh, questions, Latin questions expecting Latin answers. Ubi est Roma, Roma in Italia est. And it'll give 10 to, to 20 Latin questions you just answer those out loud. So after you finish the exercises for this section, you notice that exercise four is for Lectio to, um, Secunda, is for the Lectio Altera, the second lesson. So you're not going to do this one. Uh, we finished lesson one. Now what we're going to do is go back to, after we finish that, let's say we did the, we read carefully one day and the second day we did all the exercises or we read and did all the exercises in one day, which would be fantastic. Then we read carefully through section two. And you continue through section two and you do your exercises, and then section three and you do your exercises. And then uh, you get to a section called Grammatica, where you study the grammar for that lesson. And at this point, you may want to look at the Latine Disco. I'm learning Latin to get an English explanation of this grammar if you don't understand it. Uh, and um, following the grammatica are the pensa. Pensum A, B, and C. Pensum A is a grammar exercise. Pensum B is a, uh, is a vocab exercise. And Pensum C are, uh, is a set of questions. This is really the test to see if you understand the chapter, if you understand everything. Um, before you do this, I uh, strongly suggest that you study all the margin notes, make sure you understand all the vocabulary, uh, and that you've listened to the margin notes every day, and when you know them thoroughly, you try the pensum. And uh, you have an electronic version of the pensum if you have this, and so you could try it, or um, I'm going to require you to turn in a paper copy of the pensum, which you can check to see if you've done them correctly. Uh, after the pensum, if you do them correctly and you feel confident, you can move on to the next chapter. And that's how you study lingua latina.